Hello guys, Camgoon here, and today I am playing Helldivers. It's a twin stick shooter game that just recently got released on Steam. And I'm really loving it, and I've just been playing a lot. And maybe adding, I don't know if necessarily would call it a series, but I'll be doing probably frequent videos of Helldivers in between other series on the channel. So okay here we are at the kind of the main menu when you're inside the game. You see my character here. And we are on the bridge of our hell Ah, oh, see that. You're on the bridge of our hell diver ship. Over here we have our research. Over here we have our encyclopedia. And then here we have basically mission control. Here we see the Galactic Campaign map, which shows you the war fronts, and you look at basically how you're doing against other players. And they have the war stats right here, showing the enemy's kill, head average loss, and accidents. And depending on how this video goes, you may see a couple of accidents. So, basically, um, how it works is. Hell divers are part of Super Earth, and Super Earth periodically become under attack by one of the three alien fractions. There's the cyborgs, the luminates, and I think these are just called bugs. But yeah, bugs. And then when there is a war right there, you see the different sectors. If the um, players are winning more battles than the like say I say the cyborgs are worth winning then we push them back but they do an offensive and we don't defend enough then they push us back so it kinda goes back and forth for a while until ultimately either they wipe us out or we wipe them out so let's go into our region Okay, and here you see you have all different planets. You got 12, 13 different planets to choose from. Each of them basically just a different difficulty. One being the easiest, driving in the park, all the way up to 12, which is a hell dive. And then this right here, this is a master planet. It's basically just you fight the boss of whatever fraction it is. But it costs you requires you to use your influence. So basically what it's kind of like is like you've got to gather some intel on the people you're fighting and oh we found like there's a leader in this area let's go destroy the leader. But right, we do that right now I'm just going to do a quick easy mission. I'm doing a level 4 this is cyborgs and we have two missions on this planet first mission we have to activate and defend a launch pad, capture an area, and retrieve a black box. Then the second mission we just have to destroy Cyborg AA. Okay, so start mission one. Our ship jumps to our destination and then we get on the launch sequence initiated. Crew to stations. I repeat, crew to stations. Okay now you have to decide where you want to dive into on the map. Generally, the closer you dive to an objective, the more likely you are to run into enemy patrols. So generally, I like to kind of dive in somewhere far off the map, not near any objectives. And then here you have your loadout. You have a perk. So you're a bunch of different perks. And they modify your grenades, your um, secondary your pistol, and a couple other things, and then you have your primary weapon. There's a nice selection. Each weapon has some um, upgrades you can add to it to change the way they do. And then you have your stratagems, which is basically be like you call in support from your hell diver ship, and they give you some assistance, basically. And there are a lot of stratagems to choose from. They're coming. 
there are four different types, but you can and you load out. You only need to worry about three different types. The blue types are supports. The greens are defensive, and the reds are offensive. Play with me. Okay, I have incendiary grenades in my perk. I have a the AR 14D Paragon. This is kind of a. It's normally just a um, I guess bolt action rifle by default. But I've fully upgraded it so that it's a burst bolt action. And then we have ammo. What's actually called? Yeah. Resupply just just drops down ammo. Have a UAV machine gun and the shield generator. The S ah SH20 shield generator. Commencing mission. And now we are diving in. Does your neighbor lift? He or she might be a cyborg. Remember, or report our suspicious activity to the Ministry of Safety. Oh crap. Yeah, this happens sometimes. As you see here, that right there is a cyborg. Oh crap, I just remembered. I didn't put on the right perk. But that right there was a cyborg patrol. Sometimes when I dive in off the map, there I do. Stand by, equipment on its way. Like this. And right here, you see, as you're calling your support, you basically radio in, and then they drop. Dropping the equipment. Stand by, do equipment on its way. Of your equipment, because equipment on its way. Can land on you and crush you and kill you and crush enemies basically you don't want to be underneath anything falling from orbit there's my shield generator my machine gun and then some ammo so I'm up to max ammo now right here we're looking at the map we have our little radar ping from our position kinda see where everything is these white marks are I have the upgraded UAV, so those are samples. Samples are one of your main ways to get research points. Because every 10 samples you get a research point, which you use to upgrade your weapons and stratagems. And then red are obviously enemies, which there aren't any close at the moment. So, I'm going to see. Reload. Reloading. Oh crap. Actually, reload. Okay, so going to pick up the samples and head to the first objective. And we're on a snow map, so while I'm in the snow, I kind of slow down because I'm trekking through the snow. But I don't want normal terrain, I move at normal speed. Okay, yeah, you were also Dropping ready. equipment. Repeat, dropping okay, equipment. And basically how enemies work is there are patrols patrolling around the map. And if they see you, they will send a signal to basically call in reinforcements to attack you. Those right there are some hounds. They're kind of a secondary patrol for the cyborgs that sniff you out. And pretty much character can carry have three weapon slots or three slots you have your primary weapon which is uh, my paragon you have your pistol which can be changed by depending on what perk you have and then you have your I guess we're calling the support the support slots and generally you have to call in a support drop to get something put into the third slot which I have equipped is a machine gun here we are at the defend the missile site objective basically we are trying to launch this missile and I have protected it until it's ready to launch in 30 
scout, he just actually you know, shot off a flare, so... Alien scumbag! As you saw, as you saw on the map, currently the only fraction or enemy I could fight Reload. is Ow. the Say hello to democracy. When I first started playing a couple of days ago, Reloading. I was able to fight the... We was in a different war, right now we're in War 12, I think, for us. Two. And when I first started, we were in War 11, and the bugs had already been wiped out, and the only two fractions that were left were... We were at the cyber home world, and then we were like one or two weeks away from the Luminous home world. And then obviously since then we've the hell divers community Freedom delivery! has wiped them both out and ended the eleventh war. Now we're starting Well we didn't start it. Well actually, we don't know. Can you really trust the super Earth government? Up. They say that the, there are terrorist bombings in one of the regions, and now we reopen up hostilities with the cyborgs. Out of ammo! Oh, I'm out of Whoa, when he starts shooting so much. Call Equipment on enemy. its way. And Stand so by. Equipment on its way. Now, currently, the only. Die, you drop your equipment to where your body died at. How do you like a taste of freedom? Reloading. Okay. okay, so. Okay, as you saw, when you're playing solo, this also, I forgot to mention, this is a up to four player co op game, so other hair divers could. Join in with me and do this call for the game. We will be sharing a screen because this the kind of game this is. Equipment on its way. Reload. But when you're playing alone, so. When you're playing with um, other people, you can. I actually don't have the strategy. You get a strategy unless you call in people. Like basically, you call in for reinforcements and it replaces Reloading. everyone that is down. And but since when you're playing alone, you, so you don't have to do that, you automatically respawn unless you have respawn tokens, which um, start on one, and for every objective you do, you get one. Freedom never sleep. And since I did the missile objective at the other end of the map, I had two. But uh, I died twice, and so now I'm down to zero. Reloading. So if I die again, this mission will be failed, and I will try it again. So basically, right now, during the second Reloading. objective for this map, which is capturing, capturing this piece of land.
to kill scouts as fast as you can. Reload. So that they can't signal to you bring in. Or you are right there. Just kill that scout second pack that was coming in. They were able they were not able to signal it call in Reloading. more enemies, reinforcements to our position. So let me call in some ammo. Some Dropping ammo. equipment. a fraction or race fraction I don't know enemy aliens how you wanna really call these Reload. three different enemy types in this game. I just call it fractions because like fractions is a term. The cyborgs are I'm still learning games that I've only I don't think I even finished saying I'm just trying to say about how you Currently, the races aren't always up there to actively on the map trying to destroy Earth so you can actually do missions for fighting against all the different ones. Right now, we even have one front, and earlier when I was trying to say is that when I first picked up the game, the, there's max is possibly three fronts, bugs, cyborgs, and luminates. When I first joined, the bugs had been wiped out, so the only two fronts were left was the final map. Freedom! The final planet, the cyborg map. Freedom! And then there were three or four regions for the Get some! Since then, that war has ended, and now we are on war 12. Freedom! We will start off by the cyborgs doing some terrorist attacks and How would you like to take the freedom? So, to Reload. retaliate against the aggression of their terror attacks, Fly Divers are marching to Cyber and Homeworld to quell their reign of terror. Okay, let me out. Yeah, going the wrong way. Reloading! Need to head towards the. Supplies incoming! There's my UAV. Let's go. Let him have it! I really dislike. Oh, yeah, there are a bunch of different planet types. And as you can see, currently I'm on the snow planet. Which uh, I really dislike because the snow slows you down. Everywhere that they're actually walking on snow, you Extraction can confirmed. Down. Shuttle yeah. inbound. ETA T minus okay. one minute thirty seconds. When you finish the mission, you have to call in a shuttle, and I don't know if it gets higher. I think the shuttle time is always a minute thirty seconds. So stay near the beacon. Come on. Dodge. And T minus one minute. Seriously, the only thing that ever kills me is the fighting cyborgs all the way. Freedom delivery! Kill. kill the whole mission without dying to anything but then random cyborgs. Uh, uh, reloading! Reloading. T minus right 15 seconds! Uh, 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 and then. T minus 10 seconds! Uh, I swear if I die. T minus 5 seconds! Five, shuttle arriving! Shuttle arrive. Ah. It's right there, the shuttle crushed that is. Reload. I was under them. I gotta just run. Oh, crap, can't ah. 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 
move. Okay. Shuttle leaving. Shuttle on the go. Ooh. Well. Okay. That was. I did really bad there. Completed all the objectives. I extracted. And I died four times. And here's the progress, the uh, uh, mission success screen, get your XP you earned, your research that you collected, deaths, kills, accidents, shots, and accuracy. And then you're back on your ship, and... Hellport launch you sequence you initiated. Like this, crew to stations. Back in, uh, I repeat, crew to stations. You just automatically queues up the next objective, which is, for this one, is destroy the cyborg AA. There are two of them. And to help me do this a little bit quicker, I'm going to bring a exosuit. Mission commencing. So we're basically kind of biped mech walkers, which are really awesome to have. Dropping equipment. Our support weapon. Our equipment on its way. Supplies incoming. See right there, dogs chasing enemy right from the start. I think they're the most annoying. Oh, then okay. I just have to get to finish this saying this off. But so far, I've only played against the Illuminates and Cyborgs. And the uh, first day I played, I mainly just played against the Illuminates because they had the region that where I had all the different, like the 1 through 12 planets. Where when you're on a home world, there are just four different missions there. They're at 3, 6, 9, and 12. Because basically, you just, you're at the home world, it's just kind of like end of the war thing, you do it to get bonus XP. So, and since I was starting off as level 1, I didn't really have anything. I went there. I did. I tried to do the easy one. And I got destroyed because it's kind of a uh, more advanced. Say hello to democracy! Cool. It's a low mission, but we're not having any gear or anything. It was hard to do. Okay, so let me... Oh, crap. No, I can't. Hey, one of the perks you are not me to do strategy. yeah or not really perks one of the um let's see what's the word for it one of the tactics of the cyborgs is they stand have by equipment on its way these kind of energy shields i don't know if they're actually what the actual term for it is in game they have these zones that when you're in the zone you cannot use your Stratagems, like I just said in the hint up there. So I was unable, I was in here to call my stratagem, which I wanted to call the mech, because then I want to use my mech to help me destroy these A guns. I have this guy, this guy is the X-51 Lumberjack. Comes, I actually don't know the millimeter of the gun, I think it's 90, maybe 100 millimeter cannon. 
which is actually big enough to, as you see, destroy I'll uh, be doing it the right way this time now since I. Say hello to democracy! Doing it the shortcut way. Okay, so. Hit this. Actually, wait, let me stop. Kill the guys. Do another one over here. Okay. So, I clear the area of enemies. You disable. What should I do here? Call in. Equipment on its way. And it doesn't just come down instantly. You have to wait for the, for the nuke and come all the way down. I still get XP credit for completing the objectives, but I uh, get the mission cleared. So I have to go in and do it again. This time. Hellport launch sequence initiated. Right crew to stations. I repeat, Quickly. crew to stations. We don't have to jump so far apart. So it's still fairly small. Commencing mission. Okay, guys. So this time I'm gonna do this very fastly because I don't want to make this. Too long of a video, so I'm going to be focusing, not talking too much, kind of just if I think of anything hilarious or funny to say or witty, I'll say it, but for the most part I'm going to be focusing on trying to get this mission done and showing some good gameplay. Dropping equipment. Well, yeah, I was saying that since I'm using the keyboard. Supplies uh, incoming. Come on, come on. Oh, you yeah, are kidding me. Come on, get out. Like, seriously, I think dogs need a nerf. Or, like, they really should not be able to do that much damage. Well, there need to be a way, like, I don't know if they're, I tried to use the dodging mechanic, which is the little mechanic where you just do the, oh, the but it doesn't seem to really do much. So right now I don't really have an effective counter or way to prevent the dog. 
damage from down to me unless I have my shield, which as you obviously know, when I'm jumping. Dropping equipment. Liberty for all! I don't have it equipped, so. Take cover! Get up, get up, get up. Reloading! And vehicles in the game are obviously all of them are unaffected by the terrain, so it's good to use when you can or have the opportunity to use vehicles on like small worlds, strong worlds, snow worlds. Of course, I have fixed this. Sample, but we're not really concerned with getting it right now. Freedom never sleeps! Reloading! One thing that I think would be nice to have. Extraction confirmed. Shuttle inbound. ETA T minus one minute 30 seconds. There's one sure. Once your mechs or vehicles are out of ammo, there's no way to resupply them. Freedom! I think it would be nice if there was a perk or item or something that lets you resupply vehicles. T minus one minute. Right now, I'm out of ammo. But one nice thing is, for some reason, I don't know why they have it like this, that if there is a vehicle around, whether it's man or unman, the AI will talk about the first before they might have to care. Reloading! Hold out! T minus 30 seconds! So it is nice that once they are done, they still no can be used effectively as a scapegoat. Say hello to democracy! ETA T minus 15 seconds. ETA T minus 10 seconds. ETA T minus 5 seconds. Shuttle arriving. And we are up, boys. Completed objective, extracted, didn't die too many times. Got a couple of research. Completed the planet. Every planet has a little bonus for completing all the objectives on the, um, not all objectives, all the missions on the planet. And for this one, uh, it's just bonus XP. But also, there are uh, chances to get equipment that you do not have as rewards for doing missions on planets. 
But all this, uh, this is kind of the first dive of my, well not my first dive, but my first dive on the YouTube video, on the YouTube channel. Ah, I'm messing up. Thank you guys for watching. This is Gamgoon, and I'm showing you some Hell Divers. This is going to be kind of a filler series I do in between other main series that I'll be adding up. And thank you for watching. A like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content. Or have any suggestions for me, leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching. This is Gamgoon, and I am signing off.